Great things are coming. Hello agents, I'm Susanna Moyer and this is the Ingress Report. We are just a few days away from the first of the Persepolis anomalies. On Saturday, tens of thousands of agents will converge on the anomaly sites to do battle. This most recent series of anomalies revolves around anti-Magnus leader Jahan and her efforts to reactivate ancient Nazir technology buried in the historic Persian city of Persepolis. These artifacts, about which very little is known, have lain dormant since the destruction of the city by Alexander the Great. Jahan and her allies in the resistance claim that this technology can help humanity overcome some of its greatest ills, including disease, hunger and war. Hank Johnson presents another view, claiming that the Nazir pose a grave risk to humanity and is believed to be attempting to block Jahan's efforts. Many are asking how the Nazir relate to the Shapers, who seem to be their enemy. One person who could shed light on this is former Niantic researcher and glyph expert Stein Lightman, who has recently appeared as an XM entity within the portal network, just like Deborah Bogdanovich before him. His fate is now at stake as the factions struggle for control of his XM shards. Many agents around the globe have taken this mission to heart. In Egypt, resistance agents Neo Egi, Amaraga, Neotroid, and Gandora traveled over 1,700 kilometers by bus and boat to the ancient city of Luxor to extract shard number one from its origin portal. Their operation ended with the creation of a 1,200 kilometer link which transported shard number one to Saudi Arabia. In Indonesia, multiple teams of resistance agents, including Zeons, Shaman Kings, Batlador, Palagan, and Inside Zero, helped move shard number 20 through central Java in an operation that lasted four days. They were able to safely send the shard to Vietnam and later successfully transported shard number 13 along the same route as well. In the Philippines, a team of enlightened agents, including Chaos One, Low Rider, Neo Force, and Stormbow, coordinated with a team in Australia to unite shards 32 and 33 before transporting them to within a stone's throw of the enlightened target in Taiwan, ultimately capturing both shards. In France, groups of enlightened and resistance agents collided for nearly a week in an attempt to control shard 39. The Resistance were ultimately able to extract the Shard to Palmer in the Balearic Islands. Over a hundred agents were involved, including Lenaputian, Isaman, Stanmarsh and Neath. Also in France, dozens of Resistance agents from Nantes, including Driz764, XSWAP, Exam200 and Bryzcap, helped safely shepherd Shard No. 22 out of Canada and to Ireland in an operation that lasted just over 24 hours. In Romania, enlightened agents including Dan Boabs, Hypernova, Sunshine and Encrypt pulled shard number 34 in from Bulgaria and then protected it in a deep nest of fields. They then executed an operation to send the shard east across the Black Sea to Kazakhstan where it joined shard number 27. Currently, the Enlightened control four shards, while the Resistance control none. However, this weekend, the target portals will reverse alignment. The Enlightened target will move to Santa Monica, and the Resistance target will move to Kulong City. At that time, the dynamics of this struggle may change dramatically. Last week, the enigmatic founder of Operation Essex, Dr. Edgar Allan Wright, appeared in person on Behind the Scanner to answer questions about his past and the many mysteries surrounding the Niantic project. As far as it is here, I don't know. And in part, I'm agnostic on the topic because I do not consider myself either enlightened or resistant. In fact, I might not be as sensitive to what I am as somebody who has undergone what is most probably a hack of the human brain. I have been told that Richard Loeb, also known as P.A. Chapeau, will be appearing on Behind the Scanner as well to clarify his role in the creation of Ada and the software known as Truthseeker. You can see Behind the Scanner's broadcast this evening. Anomalies will take place this Saturday in Bratislava and Washington DC, with satellites in Corvillia, Thessaloniki, Bari, Phoenix, Toronto and Buenos Aires, and on June 20th in Tohoku, Utrecht and Portland, with satellites in Jakarta, Perth, Liverpool, Poznan, Helsinki, Milwaukee, Nashville and Fort Collins. There will be no organised activities in Kathmandu and our thoughts are with those working to rebuild their lives there. 
I will be in Washington DC this Saturday and I look forward to seeing many of you there. Some agents on the ground will be participating in a series of physically challenging missions. Led by GORUG Special Operations Cadre, they will secure information on known volatile portals. I cannot at this time confirm rumors that these exercises are in fact a recruitment and training program for the NIA. I have also received confirmation that the second official ingress mission day will be taking place in Bratislava this Sunday following the Persepolis anomaly. Designed in partnership with the Bratislava Culture and Information Center, this will be an excellent opportunity for agents to explore and learn more about this historic city. The next Ingress First Saturday will take place in just over a week on June 6 in over 100 cities around the world. Find out more at ingress.com slash events. For the Ingress Report, I'm Susanna Moyer. Agent, you are changing the world.